<laughs> All right, I'll I'll take uh, I'll take ten okay. and do a use rope check to tie fake knots on everybody. Okay, yeah. All right. And then I'm gonna have to probably make a bluff check to make everyone think I'm taking off my disguise. <laughs> Uh, yes, go and. Um... I'm pretty sure that that's gonna be. <laughs> thing. I, I... So I'll I'll make a bluff check for that. Well, what you, what you do is you find some magic puddle water. Oof, that is hard to not beat. I got a ten. <laughs> I mean, you won your last one with it. Uh, so yeah, he uh, does this weird thing where he just like. Um... He peels off the upper pale layer of his skin. What is... what? <laughs> it's a skin condition. Gip, <laughs> are you a goblin? Gip. You're rolling in from 20. Oh my god. Fine. Yes. I'm a goblin. <gasps> but... I trusted I'm you! There you go, bluff check 24. It's because I think they're evil. Oh. Okay. Okay, that's, I guess that's fair. Yeah, they're giving us all a bad name, and I want to not have a bad name. Okay, but if you're not careful, I'm going to take your ear and present it to berm it down. That's fair, that's fair. Um, uh, You can totally trust me, though. You've trusted me so far, right? I mean, I shot that one goblin. Yeah, I suppose that's true. See? Yeah. You suddenly think back right. to the occasion, and he actually didn't hit a goblin. <laughs> oh, he, did, he, did, he did that one time, yes. Half the time. Half the time. I got one. Half the time. Half, you can trust me. <laughs> At least 50% of the time, it works every time. Now, who wants to get tied up? <laughs> <laughs> Well, we know he's telling the truth, but even if he is a goblin, so Tim is game for this. Uh, yeah, uh, you, you're Yosa. somewhat re um, reinvigorated, and you, you feel much more confident in this plan, seeing just how much um, enthusiastic joy he has in his huge, sharp-toothed halfling grin. <laughs> but we yep. know he's a goblin. Oh, at least no, a couple Father, of you do. Father, Father Joseph thinks he's just uh, joking around because he's such a trickster. Oh, so he's all like, <laughs> he's all smiling along and winking because he knows he knows yeah. he's really just a halfling. And I continuously wink at Father Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> do we do? Should we do this all individually? Um, ah, I'm just gonna do one big. Use rope check. I was, I was just yeah, going to take 10 if that's okay. Yeah, just, and... just, just take 10 on it. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. It, it ends up being a 14 altogether. Um, to, uh... Oh, I know you're a goblin, too. <laughs> <laughs> Dad. I, I like yeah, to think as that I, happens as, as he's get... being wrapped, wrapped up. Right. Like, you're a yeah, goblin. Yeah. I know. Put the ropes around him. I'm like, no. And wink, <laughs> constantly winking at Yosef. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, shut up about it. It's a skin condition. Yeah, it's called goblinism. You keep forgetting to put the uh, the D in front of the twenty. Oh, oh you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm willing really to roll with it. That's fine. He didn't know. <laughs> he figured it out. So you have your little chain of prisoners. Oh, there. Yep. I'm I'm totally convinced you're a halfling. <laughs> yeah, for a second there. For a second there, it looked like for a second maybe there. I. Almost yeah. listen to uh, to Skimperdina. Skimperdina, but I know she's tricky. I'm not tricky. Maybe she's the goblin. Not only yeah. that, she's got. Oh, why didn't I think of that? She's got purple skin. Should have thought of that. I was like, am I a goblin or are you the goblin? <laughs> Besides which, no. only a goblin would see a goblin. Yeah. Sounds like you're the Takes goblin. Takes one to know one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know goblin. you are, but what am I? <laughs> that might work on this party. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll string them all up with rope and, and I'll walk them up to the, the guards. 
Uh, the dire weasel unfurls and sits up and snarls at the at you. The goblins will close ranks um, and shout at you in goblin. Okay. What are they what saying? Are they saying? Um, yeah. Who goes there? I'm Gip, and I come bearing gifts of peace in order to speak to your chieftain. I have captured these humans and gnomes for feasting on. The goblins look at one another. Gift? For chief? Yeah. Gift? For chief? For chief. Gift? For eat. Or talk to chief. Go find Big Bonk. He know what yeah. to do. Yeah, go find Big Bonk. Uh, one of the goblins disappears. Um, okay, now. <laughs> and then I tell them in the party in common. Okay, now. <laughs> All right. So um, you, you do see slightly more into the, the cave here. Okay. Uh, I want to handle these before Big Bonk gets here. <laughs> Why is feeling so difficult on this for no goddamn reason? There we go. There we go. Yeah, I also know Goblin, so I can eavesdrop too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he disappears into this door at the end here. Mm -hmm. um, and the other Goblin just sort of smiles nicely at you, just like, hmm, yeah, nice day. Yeah. And then I kind of, I smile and I nod and then I throw a dagger at him. <laughs> <laughs> he looks the most betrayed you've ever seen anyone do. <laughs> Please roll damage as he looks down at his dagger now sticking out of his chest. Oh, oh, oh yeah, is still winking. I'm gonna roll to hit him first, I think, so let me see. I mean, if, if you want to, I was gonna let it slide. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll roll damage then. Because <laughs> okay. he was just so absolutely happy. Happy to eat people. Uh, then I'll roll a d6 for the sneak attack as well. Yeah, uh, you don't need to. <laughs> But I'm gonna. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, man. I don't even think the dagger's oh, sticking out of him anymore. I think it went right through and pinned his heart against yeah. the wall. But that's absolutely what happens. He sort of looks down and it's just like this knife shaped hole in his chest. <laughs> and he looks back up and his face has just gone like really narrow and down. And he's got this downward oh, turn. Wow. Look, he's just, his eyes are huge and he's just like, oh, and he's just like, why? And, and he slumps over. Um, and then I look and over the... at Skimperdina and I'm like, see? Trustworthy. I I, <laughs> I, I take a swipe at the weasel. Okay. Um I guess that's initiative now, yeah? Yep, yeah, uh, go go for initiative. Let's go for initiative. That, that's initiative. Seems initiative. I have an eleven. Because I don't trust my character sheet. <laughs> I don't trust oh. roll twenty. Looking for the value of a selected token, but no tokens are selected. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, me oh, too. To... Ah! Click your token and then click it. Oh, What's there the we go. token? Oh, there it is. Okay. What? I guess How I actually I have, have a 5.98. How do I? Oh, it's it's for rounding. Um, in case people get the same initiative. Well, okay. It's yeah. So that you can you can do. Yeah, the you thing. have a you have a minus two to your initiative. Okay. Yep. So you oh, actually right. so you. So you have okay. a six. Actually, What's the balls. token I'm supposed to do? Uh, click your well, token. What is my token? Um, what do you mean, what is your token? It's, I it's don't know what my token is. Oh, okay, okay. I have to click him. And it should appear in the top left. Then up left? Yep, in the upper left, there's a... <laughs> Oh, the initiative show. Initiative. Up. Look at that. Oh wow, <laughs> twenty-six. <laughs> I took improved initiative. So uh, yeah, Gip, uh, you get to react again. Okay, Before cool. I throw a dagger at the weasel. Okay, this time you will be rolling to hit. I have five of those, so that, that this will be number two. You stinky. Nope, sadly, it um, the, it hits the ground, but it jumps back half a foot to 
avoid the blow. Ah. Uh, then it is, in fact, the, the, the weasel itself. I'm going to move two as well, as that, if that's okay. That is absolutely fine. 5, 10, 15, 20. <laughs> as you do. <laughs> old man. Ah, old man. <laughs> What's even better is that opened up a charge attack for me, so thanks. <laughs> Sorry, Adam. Classic Gip. <laughs> it's perfectly alright. Oh, God. I rolled a natural 20. Oh, no. <laughs> God. It's your sudden but inevitable betrayal. Is, is, is your AC 12? Sorry, exactly. is your flat footed AC 12? Uh, yeah, it should be. Oh, shit. Really? <laughs> right. No, you're wearing scale mail. It's got to be higher than that. Yeah, but I think it still takes your negative dex, right? Yeah. Oh. God. Even if wait, even if he's flat-footed, he's not trying to move. If you're flat-footed, you lose Dex bonus. You don't gain the Dex negative. So if it's well, worse than, it doesn't get better because you're flat-footed. I was gonna say because the thinking behind it is you, you lose your ability to move, and if you can't move, then you can't be clumsy. Yeah, but so... you can't move when he's trying to move either. Is the thing. Wow. Yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, that is that is nine damage. Oh, fudge. If it weren't for, uh, if I didn't take, um, you'd be dead without toughness. Yep. toughness yeah. yeah. Ooh. Um, now's a good time for me to remind everyone because I think it's been forgotten. Um, I've assumed that everyone has one potion of cure light wounds because level oh. one sucks. Okay. So, yes. I did not know that. Yes, I remembered Yay. that. I, I love you I... guys so much. I totally <laughs> remembered the vibe. Oh yes, like... thanks. Thanks for uh, reminding me that I already had it on my character sheet. <laughs> yeah, that that was. T I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on. We all forgot. Yep. The uh, so list next of the list of things that you gave us that I'm sure you'll remind us about as needed. Yes, I'm yes. sure. <laughs> What's the caster so, level on that? Plus one. Uh, uh, yes. I mean one. It, it is just mean. a D8 plus one. Yeah, that's what. Um, okay. I've actually got a macro set up for it as well, so I can just do it when you say you want to oh, spend nice. yours. It doesn't add your hit points on. You have to do that yourself, but it just does the roll for me. Uh, next up is Skimpadina with your initiative 9. All right, cool. I am going to cast uh, Color Spray. So I rummage through my pouch of uh, do you want color. To take a five foot step out of combat. Uh, Otherwise, it is an attack of opportunity. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you could just five foot shift back. Yeah, but then I'll hit you with the with the color spray because uh, it's a fifteen well, foot cone. You... Move here. That's ten, isn't it? Yeah, diagonals are ten usually, aren't they? Uh, first, third, the odd ones are five. The second ones are uh, every second diagonal is ten. Oh, okay. okay. All right. So then I gotta just roll one d twenty to hit, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, Wait, no, other spray? No, that's a reflex check for oh, them. Yeah. Okay, so the spell DC on that is. Oh no, hang on. Right, so let's get our story straight. When they come back, we tell them that one of them, that the goblin guy blew up into a bunch of colors, killing the ferret, and we don't know what happened. What <laughs> <laughs> uh, are my spell DCs here? The ridiculous. Should be level. It should be level one spell, so it should be ten plus it's your 12. charisma modifier oh, plus right. one. Because I'm a, um, I'm a gnome, so he's got to beat a thirteen. Gnome, yeah. Um, you also have spell focus illusion, so it's actually fourteen. Oh, that's mm -hmm. right. So that thing that we did. That's right. So he's got to beat a fourteen. Okay, so I now need to roll uh that okay um there is a squealing noise as the creature as the die weasel uh wheels wheels back from the blinding array of colors of pocket sand and it falls unconscious to the floor pride month next up Father Yosef the Jovial. Yeah. Um. 
I'm gonna cast Cure Light because <laughs> I'm, I'm at one hit point. <laughs> oh my we god! Four in them. Let me let me let me see. Oh, if, I, if I did that, then plus one. So there we go. Nine. Nine. Nice. Nice. Yeah, it's like it never nice. happened. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's a good question. Uh, what are your um, domains? Uh, healing and uh, strength. Oh, okay, nice. Although he uh, is not strong. <laughs> he used to be back in the day. Oh yeah, back in the day, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty good. Uh, next up, Tim the Stabber. Him There's a conscious thing. diesel. Coup de gras. Him shifts. Oh, I might as well shift there. And I'm going to just whack it. So is that... doing a coup de gras is an automatic crit that automatically hits, um, which would force a fort save or die if the hit point damage doesn't kill it outright anyway, which it would. So coup de gras is a way to go. Yep, I do the coup de gras on it. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, it's it's completely dead. Okay. <laughs> okay. I scamper around, grab my daggers. Yep. S smear color spray crap all over these things, and say, "Okay, everyone, get back in the ropes." Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Worked so far. And then I sh start howling and goblin. Oh my god! What happened? They exploded into colors! Ah! Um, blush, bluff check. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to. Oops! Somebody's coming. What's going on? Um, comes the reply from these goblins. Why is he dead? Exploded into colors. It was awful. Who? What? Oh no, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> What'd you roll? I got a six. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll get lucky Whoops. in the roll of two. I rolled a nine. Nah, they don't believe it. They're intruders, lads! Get them! And I pull and the ropes. <laughs> the nearest one, the one who shouts that, he lobs a spear at you. Uh, uh, 15 to hit? I don't think so, actually. Let me see. Get back to character sheet. I have to close it every time to see what the heck's going on. Uh, AC is... It's going to be 18 because you're a stupid small dex character. Yep. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what did he roll? You can't see all the 15. rolls. Yeah, 15. All, my, all my macros so are set I... up to be GM rolls, so let's... Just yell, rude! Step to the side. Yeah. Uh, so carry on with your initiative um, as is. Um, so next up would be uh, Skimpadina. Can they How do you me? react to... Uh, no. Okay. Uh, uh, radius on ghost sound is 50 feet, right? Um, is it? You'll uh, have to tell me because I can't remember it all. I can't remember either. Let me Wait, look I got up. the 30 open. I'll find it. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I handed, I handed uh, my book to Dad earlier today so that he could roll ghost sound. Range. range is 25 feet plus 5 feet per 2 levels. Damn. So, 25 foot. Yeah, so I wouldn't be able to um, wouldn't be able to trick these guys very easily. Hmm. Hey. Uh, hmm. Because I was gonna use ghost sound to uh, because ghost sound is super useful. Well, you could still make it sound like there's up to four normal humans per caster level within 25 feet, so that could be, like, around the corner where you are. That is true. 
I'm just maybe I'm just thinking like they're too far away to hear that though. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Does the so the range is where you put the ghost sounds, but I don't know specifically if that means that you can only hear the ghost sounds within the radius or if that's just where you put the ghost sounds. I um, think it's just the um, point of origin for the sound. Okay. Um, and then it really depends on um, what the sound is and whatnot. Okay, so... As we discussed, illusion is very... Eh. Yeah, no, so I... It is a very silly power. So I'm going to uh, use a free action to say, oh, it looks like our reinforcements are coming and cast ghost sound uh, like right next to me, like by this tree. I can't ping. I can't figure out how to ping. I never could figure it out. Uh, but you just you call down the mouse. There we go. So right there, I'm going to cast a... Uh, uh, ghost sound there with my spell-like ability, gnomishness, uh, make it sound like uh, some burly human fighters are arriving. Okay. Um, yep, yeah, so... Yeah, talking, singing, shouting, walking, marching, or running sounds can be created. Um... Yeah. Okay, so then would I roll a bluff check then? Uh, no, that is that becomes your threshold for um, your spell save DC. Okay. Which is currently 14. Uh, 13 because it's a cantrip. Oh, right. 13 because it's a cantrip. Okay. Well, 13 because it's a cantrip illusion and it's yeah, cantrip charisma, illusion, illusion 13. Yes. Numbers. Got it. Okay. Uh, right, so next up, I've closed the count. There we go. Father Yovial. Father Yovial. Jesus. Adam turn. All right. <laughs> um, so Father Yosef is right next to uh, Tim. And let's see. He casts Enlarge Person on him. That's oh, his, uh, strength domain. Nice. Yeah, it's his uh, domain spell. So, um, Tim, um, you get a plus two size bonus to strength, a minus two size penalty to dexterity, minus one penalty to attacks and AC due to increased size. But that should be offset by your strength bonus. Um, so you should yeah, do more it's... damage. And um, oh, nice. <laughs> your size large, so you you have a natural reach of ten feet, which means if they if they get close to you, you get, you get an attack of opportunity on them. Oh, nice! Whoa, he's Great. big. Him? Oh, wow! This the is what the monk in my game has been doing like the whole time. He has been abusing in large person as much as he can because at level nine he, gets, he does like a d10 damage with his fists. Yeah, that's so right. It becomes large, so it becomes um, 2d8. Oh. I know what I'm doing next. <laughs> Please don't kick me. Us all. Yeah, okay, you barely, yeah. So, yeah, you barely come up to his shin, his knee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can't get through those two, though, can I? Uh, you can move through friendly spaces. All right. Okay. So I go. Let's see, that's. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Then you could, you could ready an action to hit the first one that comes near you, too. 40. Or you charge, maybe? I don't think yeah. you got a straight line, though. No, you don't, because of the way the corridor works there. Yeah. So you could walk, like, here, and then ready an action to attack the first one that comes within range. And I'll then when that. you hit that one... He maybe goes down, and then the next one that passes through your range, you also get an attack on that one. So, yeah, I'll do that. Oh, right there. Uh, that's good. thirty foot, I think. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that works. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, yeah, twenty-five, yep. thirty. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And I'm ready. And ready very menacing action. Very menacing. Standing there, going. Bah, bah. Nice. 
Uh, so, Gip, uh, you've just seen your friend and ally, mm -hmm. Tim, double in size, horrendous size now. Mm -hmm. um, and he seems to be blocking your um, ability to do anything. Oh, that's perfect. Um, so, I'm going to use both of my actions to get up to here and then climb up onto his shoulder. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Um, do you want to make a, a climb check? I do. Uh, as, as I can get the skills. Come on, go skills. Next up, we'll have the goblins. As a fifteen climb check. Nice. Now he's on my shoulder. There's too many of them. Run! Good thing we brought our giant friends with us. <laughs> um. So those two make a double move away. Uh, these two will both shoot javelins at the big guy and then make a walk away. So, first couple of jav. That's a 19. Okay, yeah, that's three damage. Ouch. Second one, that's a 20. Another three damage. <sighs> Goblins. Oh, I'm mostly dead. <laughs> <laughs> but you're also mostly tall. Yeah. Yes, it's true. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the goblins have run off. All right. It becomes... Uh, oh. Then it becomes um, Skimpadina's turn. Well, that worked well. So combat's over now, right? Oh. You could still insert them. insert Star Wars Episode One meme, <laughs> right? <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> yeah. And that concludes part four of Geriatrics and Goblins. Thanks to Tom from Tabletop Audio for our theme music and Chris for our sweet art. Thanks to Greg, Adam, and Liam for playing with us. And an extra special thanks to you, dear listeners, for your continued support. Hit us up on Twitter at Grumpy Deck or hop into our Discord. We'll see you next time.